y'all. Welcome back to another episode of Steph's Design Space. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thank you. Okay, today's episode, we're in the bee box. Okay, super excited. Um, I got this at Goodwill, um, and I love it. So, if you have not seen the first episode where I talk about gathering supplies, this is where I put things that I thought I might use, could use, etc., etc. So, Things that are related to my bee box are in this box. Um, and today we are going to make some tags. So let's see what am I going to use to make some tags. All right, so I have maybe some of that stuff. This is... But I also have pa um, other paper. Let me see. Ugh. Okay. Oh, yes. I saved this. Let's make some tags out of this paper right here. So this is what I use to cut down um, my 12 by 12s into the 8.5 by 11s. And I kept it because I thought it would make awesome tags and such and stuff so we're gonna do that I'm not gonna grab everything from here um, I do want to grab some of these doily pieces um, I'm gonna take out that ephemera no I don't think I'm gonna use those stamps um, doily pieces gonna kind of keep it simple at least in my mind I'm thinking that so these are what I cut off um, from the doilies so I kept those because I thought those would look good on tags and pockets and then I have some bee brads so we can take those out sunflower ribbon maybe um, I also have this bee ribbon it's kind of thick so I, I'm not 100% sure. Um, where is, I got it out for something and now, and I didn't put it back. Oh, there it is. It's the black, black and gold bee ribbon. All right, so we're gonna seal this box back up, put it back up here. Uh, all right, I have this ribbon for the toppers. So I did, um, the other night I was playing with my sewing machine and I made this tag. So I just took the material um, from my cover because I have a lot of leftover material and um, just covered up a, a postcard, not a postcard, a card of some sort. And then I covered it and I sewed it and then I put a little lace on it. So that's a tag that will go in the book at some point. So let's work on some tags. Now I have a bunch of stuff on my desk over here and over here um, that I thought I would use. I do have like this little tag punch that I can use. So let's just see what that's going to look like. Okay, now, I just noticed something. Like, these flowers do have a direction. So does this punch, right? So I was fixing to have an upside-down tag. And that would have bothered me. But I fixed it. So this is a pretty small tag. But there's nothing wrong with small. Ooh, I have an idea. So we're going to keep this tag. We're going to do that. And I'm going to move these out of the way. All right, now I'm going to um, use that. Let me see. Um, maybe this. That's too. I'm going to end up making these pockets, I think just because of the direction of it. So my idea is to make a pocket tag. You know what, let's do, because I also have that, and I don't like that side, so let's do 
that. I'm trying to find something that it won't clash with too terribly bad. You know what? I think I'll like this one actually. All right, so we're gonna do. Hmm. Do I though? This is this is the hardest part for me is trying to. I'm gonna do this one. Okay, done. Decision made. Okay, is trying to find because I don't. I'm not. I don't sit around and just sit here and, and pre-plan all of this stuff. I just kind of fly by the seat of my britches. All right. So I made these little tag templates because I like a varying sizes of tag, I almost said flags, tags. So I don't know if I want to do a really big one or if I want to do something like this. I think I'm going to do this one. Okay. Super easy. I'm going to write, I'm going to draw out the stencil on the back side. That way I don't have to worry about pen or pencil marks. Speaking of, does Stephanie have anything in here? No. Oh, I have to look for my cat because she's been all under my feet today and I don't want to run over her. All right, so I made these, um, this little template thing. So at the Dollar Tree, Dollar Twenty Five Tree, whatever you want to call it. Um, they have these clear um, cutting boards and so I bought a package and it's perfect to make like templates like this out of so that is what that is again not prepared it's because everything is always on the other side okay So we're just going to cut this tag out. Now you don't have to make a stencil and I will do a tag without one so y'all can see. It's super easy just to make a tag without a stencil. Alright, I'm thinking, no. Okay, now I want, oh that might be pretty. I forget some of these are double-sided. Okay, I don't want to cut into the lines. So now what I want is to create a little pocket for this tag to fit into. So I'm doing, this is how I'm going to measure. <laughs> how, because I want the tag to stick up. So I'm going to say about right here is where I'm going to cut this one. And this is why um, I'm so happy that I, my first step in this process was to gather supplies because I already have so many of the papers that I'm going to use that match the journal. All right, now I have this and that is going to go right there and let me get my little circle punch. Um, and we're just gonna eyeball about not even halfway because half is too big I think for this little thing so about three quarters of the way we're gonna do a little notch perfect and get that piece out and put that there okay now for the most important, um, I think I'm going to go with Walnut Stain. Vintage Photo to me is a little bit on the light side um, when I'm distressing things that already have color. So my go-to tends to be Walnut Stain. I'm just going to ink up the edges and I, I again don't have any kind of preconceived 
uh, I have no idea how many tags I'm going to make or use or put in there, but I know it's going to be a lot, so I figured I can just sit and mass make a few flat, oh my gosh, well, I keep wanting to say flags, tags with you just to kind of show you the process and all of that. So tags and pockets are going to be a big thing in this journal. I don't remember if I got in the little, the little groove. Okay. Um, now for this, I am going to use my art glitter glue because it does such a fine job. You do such a fine job. <laughs> Or not. Good gravy. Ow. This is a different tip. It was a clean tip. I don't understand. Anyway. What is the hold up here? This. This is the hold up. Okay, um, I think I'm going to end up having to get some of those Sugar Bell icing things for this glue, because I can't even with this. I love the glue. But I don't like the issues. It shouldn't be this hard to get glue out of a bottle. Especially glue this expensive. Now, we're going to spend a ridiculous amount of time, there we go, maybe, can we, can we just, why aren't you coming through the hole? All right, people. Stephanie is about to have a minor meltdown. Okay, so apparently I don't get to use the metal tip today, but I like it because it does a much better job of giving me the fine line, but I can't spend any more of my time or yours trying to figure that out. So, all right, little pocket, little pocket for the little tag. Now this little tag needs a topper of some sort. Let's see what kind of ephemera. Now I can just, I don't have to get it all out. I can just kind of see and there's nothing. Well maybe it's all a little something. Let's see. Because you don't always have to use lace and ribbon and all of that, right? you can use little things like this to go on top. We know that is far too white for Stephanie's taste. So we are going to 
gunk up the whole thing. And I think I'm just gonna put yep that right on top like that. That is super cute. Now I am over the art glitter glue unless I absolutely have to have like a fine bead. We're going to the hot glue now. I don't know what these are called. Finger protectors, I'm sure. Um, but they're made of silicone. So I know a lot of people when they use hot glue, they um, they use like a spoon or a spatula or you know various things and there's zero wrong with that. But that is just another thing that I have to keep up with and keep track of and that just doesn't happen. So I thought, I saw these and I'm like, okay, I can craft with these on and it will protect my fingers. Now, not that I need protecting my fingers right here because it's I'm behind paper, but you can see I can just press down. I don't feel the heat and if glue were to be out like the hot glue, it protects my fingers. And there's a place for my fingernails. Like how cute is that? Um, okay, so we have that. Um, let's see. What else? Because I saw something. My issue is looking at that is great, but then I don't know. I don't know how big it is. So, um... this is cute be awesome be awesome be awesome i can cut that we'll see um i think some of these are just too big i thought the one that i saw might be small enough i think oh i'm on camera oh so sweet Oh, I can do that one. That one kind of fits. I can do so sweet. Okay, I like that. That is good. So let me get these and put them up here. Hot glue gun. Oh wait, let me um let me do my magic. And I can, you know, craft with these things on my fingers, which I really like that I don't have to, like, take it off. Now, if it's, like, like super intricate, maybe not, but as of right now, this works out really well. And again, I don't have to pick up another tool and, like, smish it, and I'm still using my fingers. This is great. I will put a link in the description for y'all if this is something you're interested in. It came with a whole bunch. Like it came like this. So there's extra ones. There's these kind that are good for like flipping paper. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we have, and the green matches that. So we have that is so sweet in there. Um let's see no not that um i need to just cut this off anyway so how is everybody I always forget to ask y'all how y'all doing how you doing me i'm doing all right trying to Keep my head afloat. So I can do that. I don't know that I like that. All right. I'm just going to leave it blank for the moment. Okay. So this tag let's see what we're gonna do for this one right here i can actually use this as my topper i can do that fold it so 
I'm going to cut it. Sometimes when you add the topper, that's like all you need, right? Um, now some of my tags will be a lot more intricate or detailed or whatever, and others I want to keep pretty simple. Oh yeah, see that's nice. I know that would be hot with me pressing on it and it's just not. Okay, now this is where I think I'm going to do be a little extra. Um, and I'm doing this in real time with y'all so there's no, the only thing I have pre-prepared is I have gathered things. That is it. Um, I have not done anything else. Obviously, I haven't gathered everything because this is at the bottom. All right, my little crocodile. And I'm going to put this brad through, so I need a little hole. That's why I have this out. And all right, I am going to take this off. If they just like roll off, it's great. I'm trying to see if this is going to be too small. Because really, I'm just putting it in there. Um, to protect it. So, so it doesn't rip or tear or what have you. Because I want this journal to last a while. Alright, so I am going to take it. Nope. Punch my hole. Give it away. Give it up. There we go. Now I will have to trim this. I really need to find my little scissors. I thought I had them. <laughs> I think a lot of things that apparently are not true. Um, and the best way for me to use um, these little ones is like with tweezers. Again, this isn't for decoration, it's strictly just to make sure that the brad has a nice, safe place to go. And I forgot to change that, so the brad is now squished onto this, because I forgot to change the setting. Okay, got it out. Let's try this again. It's going to take me 30 minutes to do one freaking tag. But so be it. I am not as fast as people. Okay, I'm just done with that one. I didn't want to cooperate. This is what I used to get the brad out of my crocodile. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? I did change the settings. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now that's done. Let me go ahead and put this up out of the way, at least over to the side, because I'm going to use it again. Stuck it up right there. 
And now we can take this little bee brad and poke it through. And there we have it. We have a little bee on the sunflower. I like it. All right, I do want this down here, but it's too, it's too thick. So we are going to cut it that way and then eyeball it and kind of cut it and somewhat of a half. And we're going to just stick it down here. All right, put these back on because I'm going to use hot glue. Let's see, how long has it taken me to do one tag? Yep, about 30 minutes. So I guess I just wanted y'all to see, like, I try really hard. I mean, I edit out a few things, but I do try really hard not to do too much editing. Um, because I want y'all to see the realness of making a junk journal. Like, it is nowhere near as fast as what it appears um, on some channels. And I'm not calling out any channel. I don't even have a channel in mind. I'm just saying in general, like, sometimes I watch, you know, um, any kind of video. Junk journaling, planning, it doesn't matter. And you watch that, and if you're a newbie, you're just like, man, I could never. Like, why does it take me so long? Or, you know, all of those things. It's called editing people. Um, so it is not, it is not anything, it just, it's not near as fast as um, a lot of maybe other channels make it out to be. Of. How about we just do that up on the side like that? I like it. it gives it a little oomph. Okay. Now I am going to... Oh my, this one, ow. Okay, that top is hot, by the way. All right. Oh, that would have been upside down. Not good, not good at all. And then I just have to trim that little bit off. I mean, I really don't have to, but. All right, there is a tag, a 30 minute tag, people. <laughs> um, and I'm okay with it. So there's a tag. I'm gonna set that up at the top. Um, I'm gonna make one more, but I'm not gonna use a template. So I'm just gonna kind of show you how I would do um, a tag with no template. I'm going to flip them over and see. Oh, what's this paper? It's so hard when it's double sided. Um, okay, let me. Um, so let's look at this one. Oh, wait, where's that black and uh, the stripes? So I just saw something. Ah, oh, here it is. Let's do this. Okay, I'm going to do this one. And I saw this. Welcome to our hive. Now, you can make a tag any size you want. The, the thing that makes it a tag is the topper. It's the shape or the whatever at the top. Okay? Um, 
Now, I know I said I was going to mass make tags, but gosh, I'm really thinking this would be an amazing pocket. <laughs> uh, okay, maybe I do something different. Okay, that's going to be that. Um... All right, so I want this whole width, and then I am going to just kind of measure let's just do a three and a half. Which is right about there. I'm actually gonna make it a four, so when I cut it. And I'm just going to go straight across. All right, so we have that. Now, that's just a square, but I want the tag shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of fold it, not crease it, though, just fold it to where corner to corner is. And then I am going to just cut at an angle. And now we have a fat little happy tag. And these are even because I did it like that. So, we have that. Now, I saw this be our guest, um, but I don't know if I want that. Home is where your honey is. Oh my gosh, that is so awesome. That's what I call my husband, honey, all the time. Honey, honey, honey. Honey's home. Okay, home is where your honey is. All right, I need to see what's in here. I'm going to get a, a plastic um, container, not right this second, but all the little ephemera bits are going to go into a plastic container because I, I can't do these plastic bags. One, the noise gets on my nerves, and two, it's just a pain in the you-know-what. Okay. Now these are some good big ephemera pieces, but really what I was looking for is the bees. So that's a flower. I, I dumped it out upside down because that was brilliant. There's another bee. And there's some words, I like that. It's a flower. I do have um, some other ephemera coming, and then I'm also going to be printi printing and making some of my own. Um, I've just been really busy here at Steph's Design Space, getting ready for vacation and all of those things. So it has been, it's just been, it's been a thing. Okay, so I have three of these so let's do this centered with that right there and let's do a little I'm gonna incorporate the blue so I may put that's a bit much I think Yeah, I may just do these two, because um, this is a, a bit too big, so I can do that, and that, put that there. Do I want the B on the top or on the bottom? And why don't I not do those? And get yellow lace. Okay, lace. Uh, so I'm thinking that I can add this lace up at the top. 
squish it up like this pucker that's what it's called right like the little pucker look all right so let's cut it right here scissors and get this off all right so we're going to pucker lace has stephanie ever pucker lace maybe once in my whole life all right this is going to be the last tag y'all um because again i'm so extra and it takes me a hot minute because i have all these ideas and it's it's hard when you're an idea person you have all these ideas and then you want to execute the ideas okay And this is why I'm telling y'all I don't have the capacity to have another tool that I have to pick up just to do lace. And I should have totally done that over more. Um, live and learn. I ain't nothing I can do about that. Okay. Um, so we're going to go down right there. And then a little spot here. Here. And someone asked me if I prefer, like, for putting down lace and stuff, hot glue or Fabri Tac. I absolutely hate Fabri Tac. That's my own personal preference. Nobody else has to feel that way. And maybe it's just because I haven't had good Fabri Tac. Like, who knows, right? Um. But yeah, I I don't like. Fabric attack. All right, that is very, very frou frou and very lacy. And I'm thinking that I'm going to attach this back here just a hair and probably the same I wonder if I should take it over let me undo that so if I take it over I'm just playing now guys I don't know what I'm doing and then I do this over here Oh, that's a lot. Okay, let me get the other stuff on it. Um, and we will see what we will see. Because I might end up... Doing a little Rick Rack. like up and over no I don't like that so we're gonna leave it like that for the moment okay probably won't be my favorite tag but that's okay here's the thing I am pushing myself to do things that are out of the ordinary 
and I want to, it's not that I want to be different and that's what my goal is but I like to try different things I don't always want to do status quo okay inking this up isn't gonna do anything um So if I put that up there, and this can go like that. Okay, that I am just not happy with. <clears throat> but I really don't know. How to fix it. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it. Um, I may figure out a way to fix it at some point. It's just this bunchy stuff right there. That's the part I am unhappy with. <laughs> Um, is this the thinner one? I think so. Let me look at this. Let me just see if, um, adding more, <laughs> adding more lace will make it any better. Oh, good gravy. Because it goes the other way, like the way the natural flow is. No, that's just too much, too. Okay, well, it's one of those things that it will hit me. I like the top of it. I like the fan. I like that. It's this part that I don't, I don't like at all. I need to, it needs to like calm down. Um, it is too much. Okay, maybe something like that. It's simple, it's whatever, but it's hiding all that bunchiness. Y'all can tell I'm just super not happy with that whole bunchy look up there. I think this will help it. It definitely cannot hurt it, so we're going to go with it. And of course I left it off the stupid charger too long. Okay, so while I'm waiting for that, let me kind of gather this stuff out of the way. And thank you all so much for watching this incredibly long video where I only, um, oh, what about this piece? No, that's, that's too much too. Um, where I only accomplished two tags, a big mess, and... some mistakes but hey what would my videos be without mistakes all right so now, I'm just going to trim off. Okay, I'm not saying it's the greatest, but it looks better. Well, there's a very frou-frou, interesting little tag for y'all. Now, here's another thing I'm going to say um, is, you know, 
things can like looking at clothes on the hanger you can look at something on the hanger and be like oh my god that looks amazing or it can be oh my god that is awful but when you put it on it can be so different so I just want to kind of put it in perspective whereas if I take this right and I put this on a page now it doesn't look as bad it doesn't look as extra it doesn't look as whatever because now it has a background um, that is kind of taking away from the extra of it or the mistakes or whatever like it makes a difference just making something and then using it can make all the difference in the world so I just kind of wanted to show y'all that you know once I add this to um, a page then it probably won't look as bad and if I add it to a page like that and then we have a little bit of yellow lace sticking up out of the top um, so just keep that in mind when you are making things it may not look good on its own but when you add it to something it's going to look amazing so that's my story and I'm sticking to it all right guys thank you so much for watching and being here I appreciate you don't forget to like subscribe ring the bell so you don't miss anything and until next time y'all have a blessed day bye